something from over the weekend. This was perhaps my favorite story from over the weekend, and we didn't get to it yesterday, um, just out of sheer ridiculousness. But the woman's name is Lorraine Gross. She's the daughter of the silversmith who crafted the Lombardi Trophy. Of course, last week, celebrating the Super Bowl, Tom Brady threw the Lombardi Trophy across Tampa Bay, and this woman was very hurt by his actions. Take a listen. And it takes a lot of work, a lot of hard work, um, a lot of hours go into it. It just really upset me that this trophy was disgraced and disrespected by being thrown as if it was a real football. I didn't sleep for the past two nights because of this. I was that upset because I, I know the, the passion that goes into this trophy and how my dad and all, all his fellow silversmiths are so proud to make this. I personally would like an apology not just to me and my family and the other silversmiths, um, but to the, to the fans. I'm going to start with the empathy because I do, I almost feel bad for her watching it because you know on the, like, you don't just give that interview thinking you're going to get dragged by all of social media. Like, those are, those are her real feelings deep inside about this trophy sure. so much so that she didn't sleep for two nights. Girl, this is someone who just wants her 10 minutes of airtime and like fame let's be real and honest like if that bothered you it would have been different if the if it if it the trophy hit into so. the ocean and, and sunk all the way down to the bottom they had to get some divers to go get it that's different but yeah you probably could was it were upset in that moment but the, the trophy's fine i'm like have you not been mad when that trophy's getting passed around they're kissing on it and they're like all that like disgusting germs and all you never said anything about that but this is someone who just wanted her 10 minutes to fame and she got it. If I had seen that video, I saw it. I thought the video was like 10 years old because it just looked so like old school. It's, like, it's this, local this news, Megan. <laughs> some of those local news cameras are not the same as some of the high def. I, I cannot imagine it was the being. background too. No, it was the background. No, but... and what she was wearing. I thought it looked like it was from the 90s when I saw it. And I just can't imagine being that reporter and getting that soundbite and you're just like sitting on it all day and you're like, oh, this is going to blow up. I'm not going to knock her or anything. I should have I should have went and gotten, gotten it. Um, I haven't seen one of those necklaces since like 16 years old. What was like, it? She had like a little heart necklace that like, you know, like the Zales that like, you see in the commercials, but that was like a long time ago that no one really ever gets anyone. It's like when you're 16 years old, you give uh, it to your like your, your, your girlfriend of a yeah. year. <laughs> and where is it? There's one thing to have it and like to keep it close. And maybe you wear it on like a special occasion like Valentine's Day. And maybe this interview was done on Valentine's Day. It happened over the weekend. I'm trying to help her as much as you were really trying to help her. CJ, what did you think when you saw this video? I'm I, I can't do the gestures I was making. <laughs> on air because mama triplet watching and my parents have been Thank getting you. on me about being more appropriate on the show as well. I'm um, trying to be nice. She, felt- she can get all the way out of here with that nonsense. They though think about what they do to other trophies. The think Stanley about the Cup. Things the Stanley Cup has seen. <laughs> How many activities is that? They have done drugs off the Stanley Cup. I'm pretty oh, sure. I, you're tripping about. I'm uh, sure some drugs have been done off. Yeah, the you're tripping about drug. a little throw that wasn't dropped and that didn't hit the ground, let alone the ocean. Get out of here, lady. No, I'm not about. And you didn't make the damn trophy. Why would I apologize <laughs> to you? You didn't make it. That is so true, CJ. You didn't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> She's the daughter of a silversmith. <laughs> That's like They're me right saying here. to all the people, like, do you know how much my heart breaks when you guys don't brush your teeth morning and night? My dad, my dad works hard hours to put his practice together to tell you guys to brush your teeth and take care of your right. teeth. And it it hurts me. My dad, my dad been like, girl, sit your butt down somewhere. Like, sit down. And don't say that. Don't use my name. Don't use it. Don't use my name. <laughs> Yo, this is your beef. Don't put me in it. Don't, do, uh, this ain't got nothing to do with me. I need to floss. Right. Thanks for the reminder. I have a dentist appointment in a month. A month out, I try to really floss that, that one month. <laughs> it That's, to smart. It. That's what I do, too. Don't worry about Good. it. I'm All glad right. the child of a oh. dentist does the same strategy. <laughs> Let's hurry up and get out of here, but we got a Cardi Gras. Was it Cardi Gras? Oh, today is the first day of Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. It is February.